All right, 56 North 3rd in uh, Beach Grove. Let's take a look at this uh, two bedroom, one bath property, uh, turnkey. Um, I will tell you that the floors, while they are uh, newer, um, they're not brand new. So there's a little bit of wear and tear on them. So just keep that in mind. Uh, not that I think there's any real concern with it, but I just want to point that out because I know in these pictures, it can come across as looking as uh, brand new. Uh, nice, generous living area here. We're on a nice, uh, in a nice street, really good condition. I really see no settlement cracks. Now there is crown molding up here, um, but it really looks good. House is in really, really good shape. <clears throat> For a house of this age, obviously you're gonna have little things in the flooring and stuff like that. But in general, I think this house is in really, really good shape. Front bedroom here. Pretty, you know, I mean, good size for this uh, this property. Uh, something with this square footage. Back bedroom here, similar size. Both of them are corners, so they've got good windows, nice light. And then here's our bathroom. Pretty average sized for a property with this square footage, but again, in good condition, no real issues, nice tiling, etc. Our dining area. <clears throat> with um, washer and dryer hooks up hookups in here. It's pretty narrow, so I'm questioning what size would fit in here, um, but at least there are the hookups. So definitely take a look at that. Really nice deck off the back, good yard, no fencing, um, but that's not uncommon. In fact, that's, you know, I'd say that's more common to not have fencing, but a nice deck here for sure. All right, let's take a look into the kitchen. Kitchen is, you know, it's been updated. It's not completely um, high-end stuff. We've got the Formica, which I can't stand for income producing properties, and which by the way, would be the strategy for this one. But we've got newer appliances, et cetera. So even if you wanted to, at a later date, put in um, a solid surface countertop, you could certainly do that for not, not a whole lot of money. All right, we'll head down into the basement. So this is a back door that goes to the backyard and the basement here I'm not even going to go all the way down into it because it's really just a dugout to kind of see so it's a uh, dirt floor down here um, there's definitely um, some moisture that's been down here so it's something I want to check on to see what's what the actual status is um, it doesn't smell bad down here. There's not a real concern for me, to be honest with you, but something we want to definitely check out. But just a dugout. It's not going to be a functional basement or anything like that. All right, so let's take a look out the backyard here. Get a little exterior view. You could see from the front as I was walking in, it's, a, the, it's got a lot of curb appeal. It's a really nice looking house. Backside um, looks similar as well. There is some tilting, you'll probably notice from here on that roof line that comes down here, okay? So we'll definitely get somebody up there if you have interest to take a look at it. Um, it's not a huge concern for me as long as there's no additional sagging going on, um, but it's certainly something that you just wanna check out. Siding all around though is in good condition. Other than that, minor breaches here and there Actually, you know what? There is a little bit of, sorry, I spoke a little bit too soon. This little extension right here, there's some exposed right here, a wood right there that we want to make sure that we're taking care of because from a water penetration perspective, we want to take sure, make sure that we're not going to have any issues. All right, so take a look at the numbers on this one. Great location here in Beach Grove. Let us know what you think. Thanks.